Such a cute couple. This is our cart. I love that. Cute little blouse. Four dollars. I'm totally getting that. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's gonna be beautiful. It's a little bit like Granny Corp. Think about it. Hey everyone, it's Erica. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. I post videos every Thursday about vintage clothing, thrifting, sustainable and ethical contemporary brands, and a whole lot of heart. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to ring that bell and subscribe down below. That way you don't miss a single video. For today's video, my friend Kristen and I went thrifting in San Francisco, which is where I live, if you don't already know. And this is my first big trip back to the thrift store since they opened in San Francisco. And so we kind of had to hunt around to find one that was open, but we had a ton of fun thrifting. So I'm gonna show you a few clips from our thrift adventure, and then I'm going to wrap it up at the end with the final haul of everything that I got. Make sure to stay tuned also till the end because I'm gonna style up all of these looks for you guys. I am going thrifting here in San Francisco with one of my really close friends, Kristen. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> Actually haven't been thrifting together since the quarantine. We came all the way down here to the Fillmore and there's a Goodwill that we think might be open. Yep, should be. So let's go. Kristen's a harpist. I'm a harpist, yep. <laughs> Kristen, this is so you. I do love that. It's beautiful. Oh, and the buttons on the back. <gasps> so pretty. Okay, I'm going to try this on. You have to try and that it's on. it's 100% linen. <gasps> oh yeah. my gosh, yes. So nice. Natural fibers mm -hmm. for the win. They also look very similar to ones that I already have. True, yeah, I could see that. Um, but I'd be willing to let go of those if these were better. Yeah, they look really good condition. That's Oh, that is beautiful. Oh. Vintage. I love that. Brown blouse. Such a cute little print on that. The fabric's like polyester, but... It looks really thin though, like... I'll try it on. Yeah, do it! Go but Kristen it. just found, oh my gosh, I'm totally in love with set. it. <laughs> She's gonna let me try it on. Yeah, you should do it. Oh, can't wait. Yeah. Does it have shoulder pads? Yeah. Oh. Look at this 80s piece. It's amazing. It's a little too big for me though. What'd you find? Another little vintage, I think it's maybe like 90s vintage, but yeah, really cool like beading, oh, that's, embroidery. That's perfect for one of your harp gigs. Yeah, I have a ton of black, but I feel like this one is at least like a little bit unique compared to some of the stuff that I have, so. Yeah, yeah. it's very classy. Definitely. I feel like this is like simple. Oh, that's cool. I have like three dresses like that. I love those things. Oh yeah. Very similar. <laughs> perfect. I don't know. What do you think? I mean, it's, you might wear it for different things, you know? I do like the kind of shirt dress look. I just found Kristen the top she was looking yeah, for. Yeah, I've been looking for one of these kind of little puff sleeve tops. Mm -hmm. So cute. Yeah, now I have two white shirts to decide between. But oh, yeah. I think I think I really love the sleeves on this one. Yeah. So it's really pretty. Try it on. What'd you find? <gasps> I don't know. I don't know if it's really trendy or really frumpy or both. No, it's cute. Yeah, I like the button details. I haven't had a denim skirt since I was like. 10. You should try it on. Yeah, maybe I will. Oh, Kristen found such a cute dress. Yeah, it's actually, oh, sorry. It's a Zara jumpsuit. Oh my gosh. Oh, really pretty. I love the colors. It's kind of like a rust red. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah. yeah okay, so what is this? It looks like <gasps> kind of a floral. Oh my gosh. Like off the shoulder. It looks like it has straps as well. Oh, that's so yeah, pretty. Um, can you please try that on? I will, definitely, yeah. It's totally if you don't get it, I will. Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited that these fit. Those are amazing. Because that means this is going to fit. Perfect. And then it's 
it's gonna go so cute together. And I'm totally wearing this after my pregnancy. Oh yeah, the like waistband is great for that, I feel like. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be beautiful. Oh, that's so unique. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, made me think of you. <laughs> This is my dress. Beautiful. <laughs> Wear it just like that. <laughs> Cute. Yeah. It's a little detail on the shoulder. Oh well, yeah, that is really cool. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, I mean it's a really good like basic piece. Like I could do the like layering a thing from over it too. Mm -hmm. or... Yeah. I, I it would like be cute with like a little it. tank dress or something. Yeah. If you would have your tank it's dress on the over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's true, yeah. That's so cute. It's, big. Yeah, it's a little big. I'd have to like layer it over something like this probably, but it actually kind of works. You could just take this this up. Take it in. Take that up an inch yeah. on the sewing machine and it will fit you better. Oh, that is really cute. Oh, I don't think it's super flattering. What do you mean? I guess like Tucked into jeans. You always have to like fold it up so you can see what it looks like tucked in because yeah. shirts always look better tucked in. It's true. So you don't, what do you think of the sleeves? Yeah, I love the sleeves. I mean, and I could always wear under, like, you know, under something or. Okay, put yeah, it, tucked. put your arm down so we can see. Yeah. It is a, maybe a touch big, but. No, I think that once you buttoned it in the back. Oh, is it not? Okay. Yeah. It's kind of cool actually. Like right it would top. be so cute with that white top. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I would like that. Josh, I just found this cute little blouse. But it's a size large. I don't know if it's going to fit. I found this and I forced Kristen to try it on. It's so but pretty. It's just a Forever 21. But eh, I, th I don't like how the bottom curves. Yeah, I'm not crazy about that. And I have some other pieces that are kind of similar that I like a little better. So I think mm -hmm. I'll probably not do this one. It's a great color though. I love this this like kind of like almost dusty rose. It's a little darker though. Yeah. Yeah. Pass. Pass. Yeah. Oh, it's so cute. I love the little florals. It's a little bit like granny core, but I'm just I'm kind of into it. Oh. Granny core. So granny core. Kristen, it's so cute. <laughs> This leaf hit it kind of a weird place, but. Oh, it's so cute. I do really like it, but also. Oh my gosh, you guys would be such a cute couple. <laughs> Your little outfit. <laughs> I think this is Interesting, they're like flares. Yeah. I have, a, I have a burgundy jumpsuit. I think the proportions are off for me too. I think it's too short in the legs. Mm. Like it feels like it's like wanting to ride up. Yeah. Well, maybe not because the straps look pretty yeah. long. I'll dress on under it. It might. Yeah, it's no, it's actually that, like, cute. Strap. I think I think in the back it's not quite it's so, right. It's so pretty. I do really like that. Oh, and it kind of just it, it like ties in the back, so I could have it a little bit more. Almost for my suit tomorrow, maybe. Although I don't. Use oh the yeah. It's really strappy stuff because it kind of hinders my arms when I play, but hmm. it, the vibe is definitely right. So it's missing one of the back straps. Yeah, bummer. A bummer. Wonder how you could fix that. Oh my gosh, wait, I just found this. Such a cute little vintage blouse. These buttons definitely look older. It's so cute. Okay, so here is a classic 70s, what you'd think of as a vintage top. Really cool little 70s piece narrowed it down so I decided this little linen Peter Pan collar top I thought it was okay. just, like really versatile and this like 90s beaded little evening dress kind of situation and I, I just really love this one I think it's so romantic so I'm gonna figure out something to do with the back I'm sure we can come up with some kind of solution and well was the little puff sleeve top that I've been looking for so yes I'm perfect for that. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is our cart. So we just finished. Overall thoughts. Such a good trip. Yeah, yes, definitely. Probably my most successful San Francisco thrift trip that I've ever had. Honestly, one of my best too. I yeah. mean, maybe I'm just really missing it because I haven't been able to go for three months, but that was so good. It was so good. Yeah. This is the first time I've ever been to the Goodwill here in the Fillmore. Oh, it's one of my favorites. It's such a good one. I, and you never told me about it. What I the heck? Sorry. <laughs> 
I wish I would have gone to that one in my thrift guide to San Francisco because it's really, really good. And I thought the prices were decent. Yeah. There was some stuff that was like kind of expensive, but it was definitely better than Silicon Valley Goodwill. It sounds like it. I would say it's also more affordable than the Goodwill on Haight Street. I think they mark up things because it's like a high tourist volume there. Yeah. yeah. But anyways, what was the favorite thing that you got? Um, I think I really love that beaded dress. I think that's my favorite. How about you? Mm. Oh my gosh. The set. Yeah, oh god, I'm the so glad you like that one. So I, it just really cute. made me think of you. Oh, yeah. I love it. All in all, I actually got out of there for under $100. I thought I was going to be over $100, and that was only like $75. That's so much for stuff. All that stuff. Yeah, yeah, and a lot of them like legit vintage pieces. It's a great deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I only ended up paying $25 because they gave me the dress for $5 because of the damage. So that was awesome. Yeah, yeah. it's great. Okay, so we had a ton of fun thrifting. I got a bunch of stuff and honestly I felt like that was like the most successful thrift trip that I had had in a while. But before we get into the haul portion of our video and I share everything that I got with you guys, I want to share with you our sponsor for today's video. I am working with Green Chef and it is a USDA certified organic company that makes eating well, easy and affordable with plants that can fit every lifestyle. What I love about Green Chef is that I personally don't like cooking <laughs> and Green Chef makes it really, really easy. You can pick out any of their meal plans online and they include paleo, plant-powered, keto, and balanced living. Me and my husband chose the balanced living plan. I just love how Green Chef is so convenient and easy. You guys, I hate going to the grocery store and with Green Chef, everything comes to your door. It is all pre-portioned and pre-packaged and basically you know exactly what goes into the recipes. You don't have any leftover food that you have to throw away. And also I really like how I know that when I choose a recipe on their website, it's going to be simple for me to make. I decided to make this delicious shrimp dish and you guys, I never would have picked this out on my own and been like, oh, I'm gonna make this. I don't think I've ever bought shrimp at the grocery store because I'm always too intimidated, but I saw this recipe and I thought I would try it. And you guys, it only took a half an hour. It was so easy to make and it was so much fun just hanging out with my husband, cooking together and the meal turned out absolutely delicious you guys it was the perfect proportions for both my husband and I you can also choose like whether you want a meal for two people or you want a meal for like a family size that's really cool too so if you guys are looking for something that is gonna make your life easier it's more convenient you are trying to eat healthier and you want organic foods so if you guys are anything like me and you don't like grocery shopping you don't like cooking <laughs> but you do like eating healthy then I definitely would recommend trying Green Chef for yourself you guys. It was a wonderful experience and I cannot wait to continue getting on there, finding new recipes that my husband and I are gonna get to enjoy together. Make sure to use my code 80 tiny acorn because right now they're actually offering you $80 off your first month. So go to the link in the description box. It is greenchef.us backslash 80 tiny acorn and then use my code 80 tiny acorn. All right, you guys, so now let me go ahead and show you what I ended up getting at the thrift store. I can't wait, it was such a good trip. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into the haul. We'll start out with this awesome lime green shirt. I have definitely been wanting to get on the lime green trend lately. And I thought this little shirt was just like a cute little basic. I don't own a lot of like tighter t-shirts. I thought this one would be nice to kind of like hug the curves and everything. And I could pair it with skirts right now while I'm pregnant. And then once I'm not pregnant anymore, jeans and stuff like that. Okay. One of my favorite shirts that I got was this little guy. I love the big old sleeves. So cute. Also, the fact that it's cropped is really nice. It's kind of like working for my body right now since I got a big old belly. I think it would be really cute paired with skirts. Another thing that I like wanted to mention is um, this is a large, so it's kind of falling off my shoulders a little bit too much. So one of the things that you can do is you can make like a little incision here in the elastic part and then like pull the elastic out. Let me show you guys. 
So you can make a little incision and then you pull the elastic out right there, which tightens it up a little bit. And then you can sew right down here or if you don't have a sewing machine or a needle and thread, honestly, you could just cut this and then like tie it in a knot farther down. And that's just going to make the elastic a little bit tighter so that the shirt stays up. So that's what I'm going to do on this one. Oh, and I forgot to mention it is a Forever 21 shirt, which I just think the style is super cute. And I don't mind that it's from Forever 21 because honestly, I feel like I would rather rewear secondhand fast fashion stuff rather than have it just go into a landfill. And that Another like simple little basic top that I got was this yellow tank tops. I've been really into like bright yellow stuff lately and so I've been on the hunt for it. I feel like this is going to be a great little summer tank that I can wear when I go on vacation. My husband and I are going on a baby moon and so this will be really nice to have for those hotter climates. All right, so I found this really fun, funky little 70s blouse. Check out that pattern. Isn't that wild? I love this like green color. It's got paisleys all over it. I used to have a lot of like funky 70s printed tops like this, and I've gotten rid of a lot of the ones that I had. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna get this one cause I love green and I don't have a ton of green clothes. And this is just a really fun blouse and I like the way it fits. So this is going to be really fun to style up. All right, so I did get one dress. Kind of hard to see here, but this little guy is from some brand I've never heard of called Cut Loose. And it's a linen piece. It's a very minimalist sort of style. It has like a pocket down here. This flowy, loose breezy linen dress is perfect for me right now in my third trimester and just like natural fibers like linen and cotton are really great in the summer months when you're pregnant take note <laughs> I found this like just as we were about to leave we were going to the checkout and I pulled this off the rack it's so cute look at this little collar you guys I'm such a sucker for collars or like any detailing like this and then love the little puff sleeve and even the way that the sleeve comes together there at the end is really sweet. One of my favorite things that I got was this little pant set. I just love pant sets and I couldn't believe that Kristen found this one um, and the fact that it fit me. While we were there, it's a little bit tight on me now. Like the pants are a little bit too tight on me now. I feel like I've really had a growth spurt like since we went thrifting. But I think that I can definitely wear the shirt and as soon as I have this baby, I'm going to put those pants on and probably wear them like every day because they're so cozy and comfortable. Like I said, I am all about wearing secondhand fast fashion. This is a Zara jacket that I found. It's this amazing olive green army colored thin little trench coat. It's very thin. I just have been really into long coats lately and so this is just such a cute piece and has two little pockets here it also has buttons that go all the way down the front so yeah I'm like debating on whether I should leave it like this or I should like cover it in patches or something because I think that would be really cute if I put a bunch of patches on it I've always wanted to do that with something so I don't know we'll see what ends up happening with this guy now I got a baby item I usually don't have very much success shopping Shopping for baby clothes in the thrift store. If you guys have any secrets, let me know because I'm like always looking for vintage baby stuff and I just haven't found any so far. But I did find this really cute little gingham blanket. <laughs> Look at how cute this is, you guys. Little rainbow. <laughs> I love it so much. I thought it'd be really cute for like picnics in the park or just if my little baby boy gets cold and I need to like cover him up or something, you know, I can use this. It's really funny because when I found this blanket, I was just immediately in my head like thinking, I could make a cool quilted coat out of this. Then I saw the size that it's like pretty small. And I was talking to Kristen and I was like, oh man, Kristen, look at this cool quilt. I wish there was more fabric, then I could make a cool quilted coat out of it. And she was like, why don't you just use it as a baby blanket? And I was like, oh yeah, that's right. I'm having a baby. I can use it as a baby blanket. Okay, so my last and final thing that I got at the thrift store was 
this awesome basket so I feel like you can never have too many baskets especially with baby coming toys and stuff like that I feel like having baskets around is just like a really nice little catch-all and um, I do have like dog toys too <laughs> that I can use this for so yeah I'm really happy about this and that is everything that I got on this thrift trip in San Francisco. So now I just want to show you guys the outfits that I styled up with all these pieces. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, if you want to try Green Chef, I highly recommend it. You can get $80 off your first month of Green Chef plus free shipping. You go to Green Chef dot us backslash 80 tiny acorn and use my code 80 tiny acorn okay guys don't forget also to follow me over on instagram i post a lot of other outfit content outfits of the day and things like that igtv content love to see you over there and remember that no matter what anyone says you are beautiful just the way you are